Hey, everybody, we're live at the Pace Studio right now in New York with James Henry Jr. Man, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it very much. Uh, we're about to have a, a preview of your album that's coming out later this year. We'll hear, hear three songs that are uh, that will be included on the album. We're hearing four songs total. Um, what's coming up first today? Uh, the first one's called Take Me Down Easy. tall tree I weep like a willow My scars are hiding My branches don't show Yes, I am a tall tree with roots like a newborn and your wind is blowing so over I go but now I see storm clouds up in the distance A terrible omen A beautiful show So take me down easy Take me down easy Let me land softly Back in your arms Yes, I can be childish sometimes And seem optimistically kind But that's cause I can't go Back down in that hole No, there was no sunlight Just ask my mother When I treated myself hard I crumble and fall So take me down easy Take me down easy Let me land softly Back in your arms Dude, this sounds great. Uh, I think this environment is a perfect one for it. Thanks for coming and playing. Um, we, so I want to talk. It's the the difference between you as a person and the and James Henry Jr. That's not a, a secret, right? We can say your government name here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We, yeah. So Pete Harper, you as a person um, are. I wonder what 
why who is the character of of James Henry Jr. and what uh, what was the necessity to uh, to create the character and why did it make sense to you to release this and to create as James Henry Jr. as opposed as uh, to uh, to Pete Harper? Um, good set of questions. Thank you. That, that's really um, so. The name is uh, that was my grandfather's name. Um, and my grandfather was uh, an over-the-road trucker for a long time. Um, and I guess for me, it, it represented um, the feeling of legacy. Um, and I think that uh, I'm coming to understand m- more and more now that I... So I ch- when I chose the name and made the record, I sort of anticipated that no one would ever hear the record, as I think... Um, and I've made records that I thought people would hear, uh, but this wasn't, wasn't made for any of those reasons. So I didn't think too much about the name or that the idea that I would, uh, that people would actually want to know anything about it. Um, but I think what I'm realizing is that, uh, everyone, we're all sort of speaking to, to our own legacy all the time, you know, and, uh, trying to figure out how to make good on who we are and who our parents were, our grandparents or. Um, and that's just sort of an inherent part of, of what makes us who we are. And, and for me, it felt like this, uh, this would give some feeling of, of, uh, completeness to us, to a story about, you know, traveling and being on the road. And, um, there's a lot of music in my family. There are a lot of great musicians who never really had their chance to be heard. So it just felt like all of that feels like what that is to me. Nice. Well, man, I, we re- really appreciate you coming here and doing it. We're happy to use this platform to, uh, to min- in, in some small way, help you to realize that that legacy and build on that legacy and, Thank and you, do man. what you do. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that that is what we're all doing, isn't it? I mean, I'm I'm doing my best right now. I'm doing my absolute best to do this this live stream and and imbue my work with some kind of of meaning. It means a lot to me, and it yeah. clearly means a lot to you. And we're really happy to have you here sharing it with us, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot more music happening today. What's what are you gonna do second? Um, I'm gonna do uh, another song off the record, which is uh, which isn't isn't out yet. This song uh, it's called "Everyone's Gonna Let You Down."
was taught love's supposed to be easy And boy it is if you don't want to go too deep No doubts and no loud noises Don't want to wake your soul, it's deep asleep trying to write My instincts they feel outdated I think I need a not so holy night Cause I never had the strength to let you down No I'll never have the strength to let Thank you, Pete. Uh, can we, in case people uh, who are watching this live stream right now are just becoming aware of or just becoming familiar with the project, can you talk mm -hmm. about some of the guest artists on this album? I mean, it's a, a massive list of artists who we're big fans of. I mean, Madison has played this a number of times. Yeah. Julian, I think, has played this more, maybe more times than anybody. He's been in here like five times. It's just a massive, jaw-dropping list of awesome artists on this album. And uh, yeah, what did, what did some of them bring to the table? Yeah, I'm fans of all of them, too. Um, the best way to make a solo record if you've never made one is to just find the most talented people you can in the whole world and have them play on it. So then uh, no matter what the outcome is, you'll end up loving it. You know, that was my thinking. Um, so uh, my friend Tyler Chester, who um, I worked with, uh, and Sean Watkins were sort of the beginning of this process for me. Cause Sean, I played Sean a song when we were just hanging out, and he was like, "You gotta make a record, man." And I was like, "Well, all right, like I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it, you know." Um, but then as it grew and just figuring out, like Jay Bellarose on drums, like and Jay's Jay is such an amazing drummer and has such a such like a deep like river of of groove in what he's doing, and that sort of we just kind of took it song by song, and then like like Blake Mills was sort is sort of in. Uh, we wanted someone to play slide and it's like, well, Blake is just such an amazing slide player. And then Madison came in to sing, uh, to sing on a tune. And then, um, we were just like, well, let's have her sing on a lot of tunes. Um, that's Madison Cunningham, Madison Cunningham. Yeah. And then there was one song that, uh, that was sort of, a, a pretty, a pretty simple acoustic tune. And we decided we wanted like a, a really crazy middle section that, um, there was almost like a like a classical like a like like Bach in the middle section. So uh, so Julian came in and did that and then played on that song. Um, that makes he's such a versatile guy. Oh yeah, I mean the talent. Like I said, I'm such a fan of all of these people. Um, it's pretty wild. And there, I mean, they're more they're more than that even too. It was it was just great. I mean, I was inspired every day. You know yeah. that I was working on it by the people I was working with. So. 
doesn't That's get cool, much man. better than that. That sounds like a great experience, and we will stay tuned for uh, for details. The, the details will be up at itsjamesHenry.com as soon as there's. So the album's not titled yet, right? No, I have to figure that out. So yeah. as soon as, as soon as there's a title and a release date, it'll be out at some point in 2020, and we'll stay tuned for that. Mm-hmm. Um, cool, man. I look forward to it, and uh, and looking forward to. We're only halfway through right now. There's still two more songs coming up. What's yeah. happening third today? Um, I'm gonna play a. Uh, a new one that was not recorded on, on this record. Um, and <clears throat> this one's called London Fields. Oh, where have you been, my love, and who have you? been talking to Oh What do you see, my love? My eyes are fogged like glass and I can't get through What should I do? Cause I had a plan Make it be Make the past just feel like small bites of more palatable stuff And I was alive, my defeat And I knew something was wrong But it wasn't wrong enough Mm. You know, I think I'm going to start it over, actually That is exactly the right call I, uh... Yeah, because there's a really good. Uh, I sang the second chorus and the first chorus, and then. Yeah, I meant I normally say that. It's got to make sense. Ahead of time. You know? If you feel like if you feel like starting it over, totally do. Don't don't. Power yeah, through it's. It, uh, I'm gonna cut all these into individual songs anyway, so it lives outside of the context of the live stream. That's too. great. That's great. I was. It's fun. It's always good to play a new song, find out what you're what you're made of. You know. That's kind of, I mean, that's part of the fun of, of these sessions, man. I mean, it's not going to go exactly the same every single time. If you did play it perfectly every single time, it'd be boring. And, you know, use this it for, for what there, it's worth. Man. There isn't for even Rockwood a, tonight. Yeah, there isn't even a perfect, really. Okay, let me just remember what that chorus is then. And Rockwood, Rockwood Stage 3, I did not write down the time. Do you know what time it is tonight? Um, it's at 10 tonight. 10 yeah. o'clock, Rockwood Stage 3 tonight. Okay, I'm going to do this one again. It's going to be just even so much better than that 45 seconds was. Oh, where have you been, my love, and who have you? been talking to Oh What do you see, my love? My eyes are fogged like glass and I can't get through What should I do? Cause I had a plan Make it be Make the past just feel like small bites of more palatable stuff And I was the king of defeat So I still felt like a loser even when I won Cause the winning's never done Yes, I can hear my love, but there's something strange The connection's frayed Oh Yes, I am fine, my love, just fine enough to be Living another day I had something to say But now it's flown away Cause I had a plan, make it big Make the past just feel like small bites of more palatable stuff And I kept alive my belief And I knew something was wrong 
but it wasn't wrong enough for a kid that's grown so tough. No, it wasn't wrong enough to keep me from believing. Nobody warns you about believing. Just what it is that you believe in And whether it squares with what you see Baby love London fields are green this time of year And the grass grows all up to your ears If you want I will come find you dear Oh baby love Can't you tell that I am listening To the only song my heart can sing Even the desert grass is whistling So we, we got a little bit of a chance to talk offline uh, before this about, about what all these tapes are and what this room is. A lot of it's from the Bill Graham yeah. archive, all that psychedelic posters over there. And, and you're sitting in front of uh, Tom Waits tape, an Iggy Pop tape, uh, mm. you know, Prince. I mean, this is rock history on these tapes going all the way back to the 1950s. Um, so it's it tends to be a fairly easy environment to talk about um, about influences, yeah. um, whether they be. I mean, this is also. I mean, I realize that's the laziest journalistic question possible. <laughs> so I mean, in a broader context, and maybe we talk about music influences, but just influences in general and inspiration in general. Whether you want to talk about a, a winemaker or a <laughs> luthier, or a, I mean, or it could be music as well. Just very open ended uh, question. What's been uh, been inspiring you lately? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, all of this definitely in inspires me. Um, I, I think that what was so amazing about this time is, uh, is the, the real feeling and the message behind, there was like a, uh, uh, I think there's a real feeling of importance to make music because you wanted to spread love, you know? And I think that that's, uh. I think that's still where it's at, um, which is probably why it feels so good and so so vibey in here is because it's, I think once you put that in something, you know, once you put love into a song or like, uh, or compassion or kindness or empathy into a song, it's part of what the song is, you know, and it lives forever that way, like these things will. Um, so, I mean, my influences, so I'm inspired by, I'm inspired by that, I'm, I'm musically I'm very inspired by by uh by things like I mean like George Harrison um people who really understood the power of putting putting love into the music into the whole process you know from moment 1 uh but I also am really inspired by film um I think there are a lot of there are a lot of ways to get that feeling into the world you know and there and music is is one, um, but sometimes it's nice to look outside, you know. To uh, I feel like Robert Altman is a is someone that I always think about when I'm playing this music because it felt so. It's like that space, you know. When I went to L.A. and I, I didn't realize after living in New York that there was so much space, you know, and that feeling that like 
you can, I knew it from like cornfields in Iowa and touring and stuff like that, that there was this space, but it didn't have that same feeling. Like you're at the edge of the world, but it goes on forever, sort of all at the same time. Um, so those are some of the things I feel like I, I like to think about when I'm playing this music, just to kind of drift away as much as I can, you know? Nice. Nice, dude. I love that answer. Um, and we, I mean, it's clear just from talking to you, we've known each other for about an hour now. It's clear from talking to you that that love has gone into the, uh, the creation of this to be named album that's coming out later this year. And, uh, thank you, man, for sharing. We're hearing, uh, uh, music from it now. There's still one more song. This the fourth song you're going to do is also from the upcoming album. Right? Yeah, it is. What's it is. This? Thank you for saying that. Today? Thank you yeah. for saying that, by the way. I really appreciate that. This one's called, uh, Havana. I can visit heaven on a string And when I hold your hand Then I can hear your sister sing Daddy's got a hymn that's just for you oh. In between the shutters and the smile you tell me that we're taking off just for a little while But when the ship comes, it's just for you And when you get to Havana, she will show you what to do The angel that comes down the road She'll sing song for your firstborn too dancing with the ballers and the suits and the sunrise kiss in the back of a caddy series 62 gosh it was an ocean kind of blue she's got an icy cube libre a seat saved just for you The angel that comes down the road But the preacher on the ceiling needs to speak So I will kiss your forehead While my tears fall on your cheeks Cause he may have to leave when the sermon's through but when I get to Havana, I will know to look for you. The angel that comes down the road. I'll sing ooh, ooh, ooh. Glory Sunday morning, hallelujah. I'm a singer. I sing for you The angel that comes down the road Pete, thank you so much for doing this. Pete Harper making music as James Henry Jr. The album comes out uh, this year. Yep. And we just heard three songs from it. And have a great show at Rockwood tonight. Rockwood Stage 3 um, at 10 o'clock. And happy Super Tuesday today. I, again, obviously, I'm hoping that every single one of the delegates goes to Billy Gibbons this year. He couldn't quite pull it off in 2016, <laughs> but hopefully 2020 is Billy Gibbons' year. I think he's got a good chance this year. year. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, we'll stay tuned for, for information about the album at it's james henry dot it's it's james henry jr dot com uh man thanks again for coming and sharing the music with us today thanks dude